Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, pick up a Bible. Turn with me to Psalm number 138. We'll look at verse 8 today. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God as we look at his word together. Well, hallelujah, what better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee. A friend over in Psalm 138, verse 8, the Bible says here, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hand. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, What God Sees in You. You know, God sees things a little bit different than man sees things. Man uh, constantly uh, is looking for the negative side of life, but God is always looking uh, to the positive side of life. Friend, do you realize that your Heavenly Father sees more in you than you could ever perceive in yourself? Listen to me. The fact is, from the time that you were in your mother's womb, God had full knowledge of your potential. And he engineered the circumstances of your life so that you could know him and experience the purposes for which you were created. My friend, your life may be less than what you expect at the moment. I mean, it may be encumbered by insurmountable obstacles or You may think that it's even falling apart. But listen to me. Know for certain that you're not alone. This is not the end. That there's a great future and a hope for you. Friend, the Lord is with you through every trial of life. And he has fantastic plans for you. The Bible says in Hebrews that he'll never leave you. Nor will he ever forsake you. He gives you the wonderful assurance that you are indeed accepted. You are indeed loved, you are indeed respected, and you are indeed worthwhile in his sight. So listen, my friend, overcome whatever happens to you by faith in God and have confidence that he will carry out his purposes just for you. Certainly he will lead you on to paths that you've never imagined Friend, trust in him. Know that he has wonderful plans, even when you can't see them. Yield yourself to him. Let him lead you in the way that you should go. And then place your complete hope and trust in the Lord Jesus, because it is him that uh, empowers you. He's created you, and he empowers you to do those things that he would have for you to do. Pray with me. Father, we thank you so much for the powerful devotion this morning that reminds us that you see more in us than we can ever see in ourselves. Help us yield ourselves completely to you that you may be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and then go out into your world, do your best to make a difference in it. Smile, let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Your life could be the only Bible that some will ever read, so let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.